everyone. Happy Monday. Hope everyone had a great uh, weekend. It sure was beautiful outside. Um, I know I did. I did some biking and some hiking and uh, what else did we do? We did a lot of, we played a lot of games outside and enjoyed the beautiful weather. And now we're back to our school week and I thought I'd read to you a book that is called Randy Riley's Really Big Hit. Randy Riley stood at bat. He gazed out at the mound. His knees began to tremble and his heart began to pound. Then Randy started thinking about the pitcher's throw. He wondered, without gravity, how far would the ball go? And as he stood there pondering, strike three went whizzing by. You're out, he heard the umpire called. Then he walked off with a sigh. See, Randy was genius. He just couldn't hit the ball. He struck out every time at bat. He wasn't good at all. But something beyond baseball brought a smile to Randy's face. What Randy Riley really loved was stuff from outer space. He studied all of the planets. He memorized their tilt. He researched how the thrusters on the rocket ships were built. He knew the constellations and the light years to the stars. And wouldn't it be great, he thought, to ride a bike on Mars? That would be really fun. When Randy Riley got back home, he went up to his room. He knew he stunk at baseball and it filled his heart with gloom. So he took his favorite robot from the shelf above his bed, staged a game of baseball with his robot team instead. See his robots? He played baseball in his room with his robots. The night before he went to sleep, Randy scanned the sky, and through his Space Boy telescope, a glimmer caught his eye. He fiddled with the focus till he saw it crystal clear. It was a massive fireball, and it was coming near. Alarmed, he started plotting the projection of its path. He formulated diagrams. He double-checked his math. He calculated quickly and concluded with a frown. In 19 days, the fireball would crash into his town. Oh, no. So there he is. He's looking at a fireball. What's that long thing he's looking through? It's called a telescope. Randy Riley flew downstairs to warn his mom and dad the impact would be major and the damage would be bad. He explained the situation until his face was red but they told him he was tired and they sent him off to bed. There's my doggie. Say hi, Cosmo. Poor Randy couldn't sleep at all. He thought the whole night through. By morning, it was obvious just what he had to do. He gathered what he needed with determined resolution and lugged it off behind the shed to work on his solution. Randy toiled for 18 days while other kids had fun, but he was on a mission, so he worked till he was done. So while his other friends were playing, he was coming up with a plan. At breakfast on the 19th day, the news announcer said, this is a special bulletin, emergency, code red. A fireball's approaching, it just flew past the moon. It's coming fast, so be prepared for it to hit by noon. What? Look at the face on his mom. I think she's a little worried. 
Everybody burst outside as fear and panic grew, but Randy ran back to the shed. He had a job to do. So he had a plan. He grabbed the tarp and gave a tug. He slid off to reveal the mighty mammoth robot man he'd welded out of steel. The robot needed power and Randy knew precisely that 1997 batteries would energize it nicely. The eyes lit up, the engine word. Step one was now complete. So far, so good, thought Randy. Then they thundered down the street. Look at the big robot he made. And he made it out of steel all by himself. Step two of Randy's mission took place just south of town in a section known as Millville, where he showed he slowed the robot down. The robot ripped the smokestack off an old abandoned mill. Then Randy turned the throttle knob to march him up the hill. Look at that huge robot. He's kind of cool. Back in town, the people were as frightened as could be, but Randy knew the time had come for critical step three. The robot burst out through the trees, stepped up and took a stance while everyone fell silent as if frozen in trance. Randy's eye was on the ball. No room for error now. Three, two, one, and flip the switch and swoosh. And then you see the robot? You're about to hit that fireball coming. A blinding flash, a booming crash. He knew what he had done. Randy Riley had a hit, his very first home run. Look at that. The fireball sailed out of sight. A rousing cheer began. Hooray for Randy Riley and his giant metal man. And as the crowd went crazy, Randy stood there with a grin and mumbled, how predictable, a fastball, low and in. When things returned to normal after Randy saved the day, he went back to the baseball field to join his friends at play. And though his swing, he swings in earnest, he rarely hits the ball, but that's okay because Randy's had the biggest hit of all. He saved the town with his big metal man robot. Okay, everybody, I hope you liked the book and I will talk to some of you soon and I'll see you in show and share tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.